we're back. You're listening to Car Talk with us, Click and Clack, the Tapper Brothers. And we're here to talk about cars, car repair, and uh, the answer to last week's puzzler. And I, I guess this was an automotive puzzler. Well, it certainly was. Could be a household puzzler. The vacuum cleaner yeah. was involved. Well, you remember my neighbor, Frank, who lived across the street. Certainly do. One morning, I'm out from my, my constitutional. I noticed that Frank is in the driveway working on his Lincoln. He's got the thing jacked up. And, and I'm assuming he's changing the oil or something like that. So, of course, I make myself scarce. I'm hiding in the bushes, and I see that he's under the car working away. After a few minutes, he rolls out from underneath on his creeper, and the next thing I know, he bends over and picks up something off the ground. He holds it up. I can't see it well because I'm a considerable distance away, but it looks to be about the size of a quarter. And he has a look of disappointment on his face. Mm. He stands there puzzled. I'm still hiding behind the bushes. Don't of course. <laughs> I don't dare move, knowing that if I'm spotted, I may be asked to yeah. help. Anyway, Frank enters the house and comes back a minute later with his vacuum cleaner. I figure he's going to clean the car. But instead, he attaches the hose to something under the hood. He plugs the vacuum cleaner in and starts up the vacuum cleaner. Hmm. He gets under the car with this little thing the size of the quarter, does something, emerges from under the car with a satisfied grin on his face, turns off the vacuum cleaner. The question is, what the hell did he do? <laughs> well, I have to say that I'm completely baffled by this one. There were a plethora of hints, I think. No? Maybe not. I didn't, not hear, I didn't hear a single one. You did, ah, well, I'm assuming he's changing the oil or some such thing. And in fact, that's what he was doing. But in changing the oil, he left out the drain plug gasket. And there was a little gasket Certainly. that goes between the drain plug and the pan. Uh -huh. And when he finished the job, what he found on the fl on the ground was the, gasket. was the gasket, which he held up and looked at with a disappointed look in his face. Yeah, I considered that Now, for not a while. having a clean vessel into which to drain the oil, he decided to use his wife's vacuum cleaner. So he goes into the house, hooks the vacuum cleaner hose up to the place where you pour the motor oil in, turns the vacuum cleaner on, and draws a vacuum on the entire crankcase. Oh, my God! Don't try this at home! <laughs> you can blow yourself up! Are you crazy? So he takes off the drain he plug. He takes off the drain the plug. The oil is held in suspended animation. By the vacuum cleaner. Oh, bull feathers! That's... <laughs> he then... Oh. <laughs> deftly throws the gasket on there. Puts he, the plug He may back have lost in. a little bit of oil, but certainly, certainly not the five quarts that he would have lost had he just taken the drain plug out oh, and had it run stop down. it! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> well, I, I suppose, theoretically... This is possible. But it would require, of course, that the vacuum cleaner connection fit perfectly into the well, little I didn't, hole. I didn't say that he didn't tape it up with duct tape, but he stuck it into he the... He stuck it in there. And yeah, it just so happened that he didn't. It happened to fit right into the thing. It happened to fit right in perfectly. He turns the thing on, and within a couple of seconds, it... <laughs> <laughs> that vacuum is trying to suck the life out of his engine. <laughs> And when he was satisfied that he had pulled enough vacuum, he slid under there, took that drain plug off, slapped the gasket in, threw the drain plug back in, and emerged with a grin in his face well, before the house blew up. All I can say is I'm not disappointed that I didn't get that. Oh, come on. I thought it was wonderful. <laughs> oh, God. It is wonderful. What does it take? <laughs> it is. I mean, it's a little far-fetched, and I, I'm going to try this. In your car. <laughs> as soon as I get out of here. All right. Uh, do we have? And I will admonish people not to try this because no, this uh, is a very uh, as you thing. suck vapors out of the crankcase, gasoline vapors, you could blow up the vacuum cleaner and yourself and yourself and your Lincoln, <laughs> your Lincoln and, uh, and, and the house your, next door and your neighbor across the street who's hiding in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been poetic. But that never occurred to Frank. <laughs> And had I known what he was doing, I would have run over and stopped him. But I felt I was far enough away so that any explosion would not reach me. Well